herbs, grenade launcher, magnum. All right. Oh, hit my mic stand. Uh, sorry about the extended break, guys, but we're back now. Hopefully, whatever that was downstairs is now taken care of. <laughs> no more uh, mice if it was a mouse. The problem is we had a uh, house burned down next door like a year or so ago. And uh, ever since then, we've gotten... We've lived in this house for like six, seven years now or something like that. Never had a single mouse or anything of the sort. And now all of a sudden that... In the game. The, uh, did you slay the Balrog? Yes. <laughs> Hopefully, at least. <laughs> oh, you know what? There's probably going to be, like, music and shit. I guess I'll mute the game for a moment. But, uh, anyways, yeah, ever since that house burnt down next door, though, um, after, like, six months or so, we've had, what, two mice in the house? Maybe two or three that we've caught. And, uh, we never had any before that. And it's been annoying. Um, but two, it was two mice? Yeah, okay. So yeah, I guess we, what, caught one and then the <laughs> the cat caught one? <laughs> My favorite team is the Chiefs. I don't know who the Chiefs are. Uh, are they Kentucky, maybe? I don't know. Uh, Sure, we can save to, to that one. Uh, Professor One, that's what we, that's what we are now. <laughs> Anyways, but thankfully, since we, uh, since, blah, blah, blah. Since we uh, had problem with the other mites, we do have some traps in the house. So I just went ahead and set them up around the kitchen area. I haven't seen any like bags ripped open or with any little holes in them or anything like that. So I don't think it's a mouse. But if it is, it's probably a new one. Um, but anyways, whatever. We'll get it taken care of. Uh, okay, so what do you got? Do you have like that little mini game mode that the other one had? You have actual mini games? What? Okay, the mini camp. That's what the other one had, I think. I think that's what they called it. Rushing attack and two-minute drill. Um, oh, wait. You know what? Before we do that, let's get the game audio up and running. So, is there, like, a options screen or something? Um, there's a PSP system link. That's cool, I guess. I just, I just, I just want options. Like, <laughs> um... Where, where, where are the options? Have the options disappeared on us? Do they just not exist anymore? I'm very confused. What is, what is life? Okay. Holy shit, dude. I didn't realize it was going to take six years to do an autosave either. It seems like, I, I'm guessing it's because I use an aftermarket memory card with a lot more memory. It seems like a lot of games take a shit ton longer to save than I remember. Uh, I, is it EA Sports Extras? I don't know, man. I don't see any options at all. Let's just go to, let's just go play, I guess, and then we'll go into the options there, maybe. I do want to try the, the minigame stuff, though, because that sounds fun. We can, we can play online. I can pull a uh, Ethernet cable over here and plug my PlayStation in. You think anyone's on playing <laughs> Madden 2006? <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah. So this is almost exactly the same as what it was last time. Let's do a uh, swap ball, whatever. Use your QB vision to look at your intended receiver. R2 plus something, L1 or R1, locks QB vision onto your receiver. Does that work like in the normal game too? If so, that's a pretty good piece of advice, actually. Oh yeah, no, see, like, we definitely can't just have that blaring <laughs> in the game there. Holy fuck, dude, for real, where is the options for this game? Oh man, I need to eat Reese's Fast Break. I love Reese's Fast Break. It's one of the best candy out there. For real. It's so fucking good. For someone who doesn't even like uh candy, like 
candy, peanut butter. For someone that doesn't even like peanut butter that much, holy hell, dude. Fuck. <laughs> I just want to turn off the music so we can play the game. That's all I want. Play the game with sound so you guys don't have to just listen to fucking silence. Features. Rosters, historic team, PSP link. I'm not like missing it, right? Does start also select and not just take me to the menu? I think starts also select. Oh, no, I'm not creating a fucking fan, dude. Stat book, coaching, gameplay settings, system settings. Holy fuck, thank you. Uh, soundtracks, maybe? No, that's just picking a song. Okay, audio. A fucking audio. Main menu, menu sound effects, crowd sound mode. Where, seriously, is there not just like a music option? I mean, that's main menu audio, I guess. Menu sound effects. Field volume? I I have no idea. Maybe the maybe it doesn't use music in the in the game itself. Maybe that's what it is. I I'm hoping that is what it is at least, but whatever. At least we got it, at least we got it somewhat figured out. Hey, thank you so much for the uh follow there, Canadians fan. I appreciate that. But all right, let's get into the actual game now that we're done, like, fucking around with the with the options here. Uh, which also reminds me, let's make sure to turn the audio for the game on now so you can hear a little bit of something, right? A little bit of something is better than just uh, a whole lot of silence. <laughs> a whole lot of nothing but my voice. Um, oh, I guess we did kind of say the Chiefs or whoever were our favorite team. That's probably why I had that picked. Uh, we're playing Galaxy, I guess, because that's where I stopped at. There we go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm assuming this one plays the same as the last one in, in terms of, like, most of the, the controls. So it's probably similar with, like, Circle most likely being Spin, L1, R1 probably being, like, Laterals, things like that. I'm hoping so, at least. Because if the tiny bit that we learned from playing the last one doesn't transfer over to this one, then we're going to have... Uh, a lot bigger problems. Madden menu looking like a Dark Souls boss. Man, it's feeling about like one too. Holy hell. <laughs> I seriously need to play the Dark Souls games at some point too, man. I've been playing uh, Elden Ring every once in a while. Like whenever I have time for it. And that's been a ton of fun. Uh, it's making me want to play the Dark Souls games that much more. Oh, there is no like uh, Madden choice thing here. Where it just picks one for us. All right, that's fine. That just means we gotta we gotta be a little more uh, careful with what we pick here. Neo as well. Yes, definitely. And Neo, I actually have Neo. Well, I guess I have the other games too on PC. Now that I think about it, but Neo I have for the uh, PS5. Was it the PS5 they did the Neo One and Two collection on? Oh, there is an Ask Madden. I guess there just wasn't there because like. Why would you ask Madden when you're receiving? But yeah, Neo looks really fucking good, man. It was one of the first games I picked up whenever I got the PS5. If I'm if I'm thinking of the right thing. And uh, I just haven't had the chance to play it at all yet. I haven't even gotten that far into Elden Ring yet. I, uh, I've defeated the first boss and gotten up from... I started as Wretch, so I started at level 1. Uh, and I've gotten up to level like 25 or something like that. So, like, I've certainly played some. Holy fuck, they got through the defense quick. Uh, T.E. Shake. <laughs> Is that, like, the sound that, uh, the, the, or no, the move that Michael Jackson does there? The T.E. Shake? So, wait, if I press, like, square. Oh, the, the, the one that's highlighted. That's the one that I'm following. I thought that meant they had, like, really good coverage or something like that. Okay. Oh, shit, we're gonna... Oh, yes, 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 okay. We actually caught it, though, at least. What, what did we fumbled? What do you mean we fumbled? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I was so happy. Like, we actually caught the ball. I was like, dude, did we actually do a play that, uh, like, reasonably well? And then instantly turnover. Awesome. 
so so happy that that happened <laughs> oh man uh, okay well at least we blocked it I uh <laughs> I have less hope for this one than I did the the first one is in terms of us actually winning fumbles fucking fumbles dude <laughs> actual garbage are they are they already waiting out the clock why are you, why are you taking so long to take your turn that's kind of neat it actually shows like where they're looking the quarterback that's kind of cool man like it kind of highlights the area that they're that their heads turning I kind of like that that's a that's a neat concept they're saving <laughs> it does take a long ass time that could that could be it man you might be on to something <laughs> oh Extra point. I mean, yeah, I don't even know why we're here for this. Just let the dude kick. What are the chances of them uh, getting sacked on a kick? Like, come on. Be reasonable. Drive summary? That's cool, I guess. I don't I do not do sports ball stats, man. I don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there's some really interesting info there or something. I suck at Madden. Same. Same. <laughs> In case that wasn't obvious to everyone out there, so do I. <laughs> oh man, I'm liking I'm liking R1 for this one. Oh, never mind. He got coverage now. Which in that case, I think I'm liking triangle. Let's try to try to go for triangle. Uh, you know what? Square. Square looks more open. That was. I. Mm. Oh, defensive pass interference. Second and 10 on 18. First and 10 on 40. Uh, I don't know what's actually better. Second and 10 on... I don't know. Whatever. We'll accept the penalty. Like I said, <laughs> I don't, there's a bunch of words and things and numbers, and I don't know what it means really, but I assume accepting a foul on the enemy team is a good thing, right? enemy team like it's a fucking <laughs> it's an rpg game oh my god that's a fun football game the fucking dnd &D football game i forget the name of it uh blood bowl fucking blood oh jesus fuck i <laughs> that was fucking terrible i i, I missed my own hand off there <laughs> so i just ran back and forth oh lord anyways blood bowl is actually a lot of fun um, because it's like a turn-based football game with like people dying left and right and shit. Oh man, that guy that I had watching him was not doing his job, was he? That was in his hands. <laughs> Come on, oh lord. All right, circle, triangle, square, R1. R1 is looking actually pretty decent. Let's get it to R1. Just what? How did you miss that, man? It was... I hate my life. I don't want to punt the ball. I refuse to punt the ball. What is what is all this? Full house wide? Sure, whatever. Full house wide, man. That's what, that's what we're doing. Just, just anybody. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please catch. Yes! Yes! Fucking suck it, dude. <laughs> Thank God he didn't instantly fumble again. I would have been so fucking mad, man. Holy shit. All right, we good. We Gucci. Everything's going, uh, coming up Millhouse or whatever the fuck that's called. As, oh, dude. What's it called? Haunting of House Hill. I don't know if you guys have watched that on Netflix or if you even like, like, you know, horror film shows, whatever. But it's, like, really fucking good, man. I love that show. That and uh, Noodle, if you're still around, what was the name of the, the one with the all the religious stuff? Um, you don't want to live on this planet anymore? Same. Honestly, is there, like, a fucking sprint button? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> we're, we're doing we're doing good. Katie loves it. That's awesome. Yeah, Hill House is really good. Uh, 
What the hell is it called? Midnight Mass. Midnight Mass is the name of the other one. Carrie, I figured that's what you meant. <laughs> uh, I was confused for like a second though. I will say that, man. When you first said that, I was like, Katie, I don't think I don't think he's ever mentioned a Katie, but my memory's so piss poor, I just thought maybe maybe I was missing something there. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Midnight Mass is so freaking good. It's probably my favorite one, although it starts a lot slower than like Hill House and whatnot does. By the end, it gets really, really good, man. Love it. All right, so there's not like a good one, really, I feel like. So we're just going to go for it. We, there was an opening that I could have ran for, and I didn't, and that's totally my fault, man. PA, uh, Pennsylvania World Record Shake. There's also Bly Manor. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Which one was the first one that we watched, Noodle? Was it Bly Manor or Hill House? Because I like the first one that we watched better than the second one. Um, but they're both good. Is that a first? I think that's a first. First and goal. There we are. What's package? TE swap? I don't know. Ask Madden. What's Madden think we should do? Uh, uh, a hard back dive? We'll go for it. Pound the ball. You got to pound the ball into the end zone, guys. Pound it. Oh, fuck. That guy. That guy came for us. <laughs> he, he saw our ass and was like, that's mine. And he fucking took it. The pate flood. The pate. Like, like the shit you feed to your cats. We're flooding it. Um, I don't know. I feel like, honestly... Can we just... No. I was hoping we could just run it forward. I guess we probably did get, like, a yard there, but it wasn't It wasn't good, though. You deemed an adult. <laughs> uh, that moment when you realize you need an adult and you are the adult. Yeah, that was, that was fucking bad. Pate Flood is a menacing name for any move. <laughs> oh, Lord. It wants us to go for the goal, for the field goal. I think we're going to go for the run. We probably won't get it, but like... Alright. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, dude, nope. Nope. That's all right. That's all right. We could have got the, the, what is it, three points or whatever for a field goal, but nah. Three points ain't going to do shit for us. But how they did Midnight Mass was so cool. It was. It's really fucking cool. So Midnight Mass is, is by far my favorite of uh, all the Netflix horror stuff that I've watched personally. Can I watch, like, one of them, too, from the quarterback thing? No. Okay. Ah, oh, dude, if we could have got the uh, interception there, that would have been great. With us being so close to our side of the field already, that would be perfect. Come on, grab it. Out of bounds. Did he start out of bounds or run out of bounds? Third and ten. Okay, cool. Those three were all made by the same person. They were. They were made by the same person. Football's so boring. I'm sorry, Rue. We got to do it sooner or later, though. Might as well get it out of the way now. That means less football in the future and more, like, RPG and fighting games and shooters and things like that. Although, shooters for me on console are rough. <laughs> I'm just not good at shooters on console. I'm not great at shooters in general. And then you put it on a console... Oh, boy. It is rough. If you're controlling a defending player, you think triangle attempts the interception. Okay. Good to know. Metal Gear Saga? Yep, yep. We can play Metal Gear. All kinds of fun stuff. Gotta get Yakuza. Was that... Did that start on PS2? For some reason, I was thinking Yakuza was like a PS3 thing. But you're probably right, though. I'm a little, like, I'm excited to try Metal Gear Chocobo, I'm not going to lie, but I'm also a little scared because stealth games have never been my thing. Um, 
So, so like, I'm, I'm just scared that I'm not going to end up enjoying them, and I'm going to feel bad about it. Because <laughs> I want to enjoy them, but, like, I don't... But I'm worried that I won't, you know what I mean? Be patient out there. When you see an opportunity... You do believe PS2 was its original debut? You're probably right. I have... I'm not sure. It just feels like a PS3 thing to me. Ace Combat? Yep, yep. I actually... Do I have Ace Combat? I feel like I might have Ace Combat already. I just haven't gotten around to playing it yet. Don't forget to use misdirection and play action to keep them off balance and, and stuff, guys. Uh, I shouldn't have been running forward. Oh, did we catch it, though? Hell yeah, dude. You were terrible at Ace, but it's so fun. I mostly played, like, Kingdom Hearts, uh, Grand Theft Auto, God of War... And then, like, random RPG games. <laughs> oh, Final Fantasy. Uh, and then, yeah, a lot of RPG stuff. That's mostly what I played on PS2. I didn't play a whole lot of, like, uh, Ace Combat and, and, and random stuff. Oh, wait, you know what, though? I'm, like, totally forgetting some of the best stuff on PS2. Like, Sly Cooper, right? Sly Cooper was a shit ton of fun. And uh, Ratchet and Clank, of course. We played through the PS5 Ratchet and Clank game not too long ago. That was a ton of fun. Um... But, of course, it all started on the PS2 with Ratchet and Clank. How the hell did I forget that, you know? We are on our third down. That's kind of bad, actually. Let's, uh... Let's hope this goes well. Hold on. Let's follow... Let's follow Square. Oh, we got sacked. Fuck me, dude. What's he want us to do? He wants us to go for the field goal. Um, how many? 13 yards? We could just go for it. We're still like on their side of the... Nah, fuck it. We'll go for the field goal. That's a long one. I don't know if we're going to make it, to be honest. <laughs> uh, oh, Dynasty Warriors. That was another one that I remember playing on the PS2. I've forgotten all kinds of shit, man. But yeah, Dynasty Warriors, that was a fun set of games. And, uh... Oh, shit, what's what's it called? Okay, that was not great. Yeah, nope, that's not even close. <laughs> uh, Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur was another one. Although, I played that a mix on PS2 and uh, GameCube. I feel like I probably played it more on GameCube, TBH. But yeah, because, like, I had my games, of course, and then one of my brothers had a couple games, and then, uh... We had, um, like, my cousin, myself, my brother, and then, uh, you know, a couple friends that I hung out with growing up. What, did, what are we doing? Why is nobody going for him? Like, <laughs> holy hell. How did he have so much time to pass? I guess maybe I could have taken control of someone and tried to apply some pressure. That probably would have been the right thing to do in that situation. Wayne wide receiver. He's going to run. Uh, blue 42, hut, hut, you, you know, I, I speak, oh, nice, that's what we need, man, just keep pushing them back. I need a drink is what I need. After this play, whenever we're picking our play, I'm gonna have to grab a drink. Your boy be thirsty. I was so busy sending them traps downstairs, I forgot to, like, you know, <laughs> take care of myself. Oh, uh, no, no. Ah, uh, that's all right. That's all right. At least it was incomplete, because that probably would have been a touchdown otherwise, or at least close to it. Way too close for uh, comfort. Yellow pickle jam? Hut. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know why, but for some reason, reading that made me think of Pizza Hut. And uh, then I was like, yellow pickle jam? On a pizza? At Pizza Hut? That doesn't make no sense, man. But, yeah, no, it turns out my brain's just fucking stupid. <laughs> oh. Fourth down? Hell yeah, okay, so that's probably gonna be a, uh, a punt. So we'll take the, uh, get the ball back at least. I forgot to take my drink. <laughs> Remember when I said a moment ago that my memory is fucking garbage? 
<laughs> yeah, I wasn't lying. <laughs> Fumble? <laughs> How the fuck, dude? That You had one job. Catch the ball on the punt. That's all you had to do. At least the other team didn't pick it up before it went out of bounds. So after the fumble now, it's first and ten. Number 86 is on the right of the formation. Do not eat the yellow pickle. I mean, I've seen some yellow pickles that look okay. I saw him coming for the sack. I tried to just toss it real quick, but didn't work. PA boot roll? Aren't the like deli uh, style pickles, aren't they usually yellow? Like the ones that are refrigerated, not the ones that are like in a jar. Ah, oh, dude. That looked so good. You were open. I feel like I suck more at football games now than I do when I was younger. All right, the long passes are less likely to go through, I feel like, right? But, nah, yeah, fuck it, whatever. What do I care? That's not good. Oh, we actually got it! Fucking go, dude! Let's go! <laughs> Hell yeah! All right. We could, in theory, get a touchdown here. It's probably not going to happen. But it could. There's a lot of coverage on the right side there. Yeah, no, I think... I think Going with squares, probably the best bet. And speaking of, fucking get rid of it, please, because we were about to get sacked, man. Yellow pickle makes you think of pickled banana peppers. Dude, I love <laughs> pickled banana peppers. Fucking love them. You had the devil slug as a child? Is that? <laughs> oh, my Lord. Uh... <laughs> I have never heard that phrase before, man. I, it means astoundingly good luck, I'm assuming, right? At least uh, that's what Google said when I Google searched it real quick because I have never heard the devil's luck. But you could always just run special team plays and it would just work, right? <laughs> like, I feel like it wasn't, uh, it wasn't this hard growing up. But, uh, man... I mean, video games, it's a fact that as soon as you hit stream on any video game, it's just, like, ten times harder anyways. Like, that's just a fact. But even then, like, I feel like it doesn't quite account for how poorly I uh, I do with these games here. We're not going for the field goal again. No, fuck that. We are going for a I-form normal HP dive. That's pretty... I don't know. That looks kind of ballsy, man. I like the curls. Let's go for curls, and then we can try to, like, run it to the side. All right. It looks like, uh, run it to the left, maybe. So we're going to want to throw to R1, L1, to L1. Uh, fucking, that's a fumble? What do you mean that's a fumble? How's that a, that's a fucking touchdown. I'm fucking... Wow, I quit. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh. So wait, like, okay. I don't know the rules very well in football. I'm not going to lie. So like, if I, if I throw it back behind the line of scrimmage and my dude misses it, is it just an automatic fumble? Or was it in my hands and then I dropped it? Because it didn't look like it was ever in my dude's hands. I would have just thought that would have been like a, a down. I didn't think that was straight up a fumble. Fucking fumbles, dude. We <laughs> Yee. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> if it's if it's the the missing the ball on the line of scrimmage thing, if that's what you're saying ye to, then uh that's fucking dumb. <laughs> Sorry, right. it's a learning experience. We know for next time. Don't uh don't throw back unless you know for sure you're gonna be able to catch it. Number eighty six. Alright, uh Yeah, honestly, like none of these guys look too good. Uh we actually caught it. Nice. Precision passing. I keep seeing that popping up. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Yee. Yee. 
Got your Yeezys on. Can we can we pass to R1? I'm scared to throw it back now, cause like, fuck, sacked. Oh man. It's all right. Just keep telling myself that after I play it this one time, I never have to play it again, unless uh, unless we decide to beat every game on the PS2. <laughs> <laughs> Which is something I would like to do at some point, but what's the definition of beating on a uh, on a sports game anyways? You know what I mean? Like, with a sports game, is it? It's, when do you beat it? I guess if it has a story mode, you would have to make it clear through the story mode. But otherwise, like, I don't know, man. Uh, just kick it straight down, I guess. Holy shit, dude. Here's the kick. That was not a good punt. I'm going to blame it on the fact that I'm playing through hey, OBS. <laughs> There's some lag. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to blame it on that. After the latest update, your phone does this fun thing from time to time where it likes to turn down a little bit. Mine too. Mine does that every day. Okay, so on my lunch break at my regular job, my my full-time job, I tend to watch some uh, TV shows of some sort. Lately, I've been watching Dragon Ball um, as I'm trying to finish that series. Again, I watched it when I was a kid. But anyways, that's not the point. Uh, but like halfway through an episode, it'll it'll just turn the phone down, sound down like halfway. It's got to be like some sort of setting somewhere or something. But I don't understand why it does it like just randomly like that. Well, I guess it's not really randomly because like I said, it's like halfway through an episode every time, like the first episode, every time I watch one, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's weird. I feel like the sports would end up being the hardest for you to beat. Probably, man. <laughs> Probably because holy hell am I bad at them. I don't even know where my guy's at. Out of bounds? Hell yeah, you are. <laughs> halftime. So they had the ball on the half or halftime. So does that mean I get the ball now? No, we're kicking off. I guess it's probably because we got the ball in the beginning. So they get it in the halftime. That's, that's most likely what it is. That makes sense. I think it has something to do with notifications, but you haven't found a setting for it yet. So wait, have you been having a similar issue there, Nate? With your phone? It's uh, we use Samsungs, if that matters. <laughs> but yeah. You were thinking you broke your phone somehow and then you realized it started after the update. You're glad you're having the same issue. <laughs> well, I'm not glad I'm having the same issue, but I'm glad that uh, it's not just my phone. I've just been kind of ignoring it to be honest, cause like, it doesn't really hurt anything. It's just annoying that I have to turn it back up once in a while. But a lot of people have, and yes, it's an A52. Okay. So, yeah. So, it seems to be some sort of issue with, with the Samsungs then. Hopefully, that means that uh, with the next update, they'll, they'll fix whatever it is. Or or somebody will find a setting for it or something. Like, stream has been live for 1 hour, 36 minutes, and 47 seconds. So we're gonna finish up this uh this this match of football here and then uh that's gonna be it for tonight speaking of though tomorrow uh wednesdays we don't stream on wednesdays but we'll be back thursday with some more fun stuff and uh this time it won't be a sports title if uh, the rng gods pick another madden game or something like that i'm just gonna re-roll <laughs> we're not we're not doing the sports balls twice in a row i can't do it man i can't do it i need to uh I need to have a little bit of variety in my life. <laughs> oh, you already have issues hearing don't turn my shit down for real noodle. Yeah, that's I didn't even think about that. That's extra bad for you, I guess, huh? We need better, more fun games. I mean, for some people, you know, sports ball is really fun. It's just it's not it's not for me. It's not my kind of game. I still have fun with it, though, just because I get to hang out and chat with all of you guys. If it weren't for you guys, though, yeah, this would be a fucking drag, man. <laughs> playing, playing a Madden game for hours. Oh my lord, they actually, how do you, how do you claim fair, fair catch or whatever? Because they do that all the time. 
right? Every time we, we do, like, the kickoff, they just claim fair catch and, and call it. How do we do that? I don't know how that works. But, like, that's twice now where we've had it, it fumble on a, on a receive there. And this time they got a fucking touchdown out of it. Like, one night you thought I turned my mic down? Nope, nope. I mean, I do every once in a while, but like for the most part, I have it all kind of set where I want it and just just leave it there. Of course, if anything ever sounds off, y'all will let me know, right? Because yeah, no, no sports balls, all the sports balls, <laughs> foosball. Honestly, I would rather play foosball <laughs> than a football game, video game, I guess. Like playing a uh, football game IRL is fun. But, like, I don't know, man. I've said it before. I think it's because I don't like watching football. That's why I don't really care for playing the uh, the, the video game version of it. But, like, put me out in a field with a bunch of friends or something, and football's fun. <clears throat> if it's two players, you're not playing a sports game with me? Rude. Uh, I was watching back the, the footage for that noodle whenever you did actually play a game on stream with me for the first time. The only time. And uh, we could not, like, they could not hear you, like, at all, man. We're going to have to put a second mic on your face. Or uh, you're going to have to get a lot closer to the mic and learn to speak up a little bit. Because, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, if you're going to be playing with me, then then we need to, uh, you need to be heard. You know what I mean? Facts. Big facts. Don't force it into coverage. I'm not saying you need to be, like, chatting the entire time or anything like that, but whenever you do decide to talk, what do you mean, why? Because <laughs> why wouldn't you be heard? Oh, that was terrible. Was I, I must have been, that was out of bounds, wasn't it? Yep, fourth and fourth. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, if you're, if you're going to be playing a game, then, like, yeah, why wouldn't you want people to hear you whenever you say stuff? Because otherwise, it's just, like, me talking to myself here, which is, like... <laughs> Just yell at the mic. I mean, you can do that, too, if you want. But uh, we could probably rig up, like, a second microphone to put on your face. Come on, catch! He actually fucking caught it! Let's go! Let's fucking go, boy. Hell yeah. I'm surprised that worked. <laughs> I fully expected to just get fucked on this one, but... Hey. Fuck. Gain 100 receiving yards. Hell yeah. All right, so we're running to the right is what we're doing. Block for me, block for me, block for me. Did we even make it past the line of scrimmage? I don't think we did. There's a John Wayne Gacy documentary. I, uh, I know nothing about him. He literally took my head and pushed me towards the mic. Did I? That sounds like something I would do, but I don't remember it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Got sacked. Yes. Okay. I'll take your word for it because I don't remember. <laughs> oh. Got that deep penetration on the line. You know what I mean? Come on, square. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. Catch it. Yes. Fucking go, dude. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. There, it's unlikely that we're going to win, but at least we... uh. But at least we got a chance, man. Better kick it here? No, what's the point? <laughs> we're, we're going for the two-point conversion. Let's go. John Wayne Gacy was a clown. He kidnapped and did things to young boys before killing them, hiding them under his house. That's nice. I just saw at work today. I saw a... Uh, yeah, dude, that actually worked. Uh, shit, I, I didn't expect that to, to happen. Anyways, I saw at work today that... uh. There was a movie, and it was all about, like, uh, people being, like, kidnapped and terrible things happening to them and all that fun stuff. Anyways, the point is, like, all three of the films that were included in the collection all said, like, based on a true story. And, like, one of them was from, like, the 1970s. The other one was from, like, the point is, the supposed events, true events that it was based off of didn't happen that long ago. Like, these people are probably still alive. So if it's actually based off of their stories, like, imagine how fucked up that is, you know? 
Like, imagine whatever the worst trauma in your life is, and then somebody's like, hey, we're going to make a movie out of this and sell it for people to watch and enjoy. Like, dude, <laughs> that's kind of fucked, don't you think? Like, I don't, I don't know how to feel about that, man. I, I wasn't a fan. And the worst part is, some of them sounded interesting to watch, but like... <laughs> but I, uh, yeah, no, I don't... Mm, I don't know. I mean, I guess, like, if that happened to you or whatever, you could just, like, pretend it didn't. But, like, that would still probably bring up a lot of that trauma again, you know? In ways that you don't necessarily want to have brought up. They did a movie on Cleveland kidnappings on Hulu, you think? I don't know what that is. Never heard of it, but... But still, like, yeah. Wasn't it, uh, was it Rasputin who they made that song about him? And, uh, whenever they made it about him, like, he was still alive. Like that rah, rah, Rasputin, uh, something. I don't remember how the song fucking goes, but. <laughs> Stoomville did a movie on the Stoomville rape case that was really big. And the girl caught herself on fire because of it. That's nice. That's real nice. Yeah, exactly. But that's what I'm saying. Um, like, wait, did she, like, IRL or in the movie she caught herself on fire in the football field? Either way, though, like, dude, stop taking these people's trauma and turning them... Oh, in the movie they really dramatized it? Either way, like, stop taking these trauma, especially of young people like that, and, and trying to profiteer off of it, you know? Like, that's kind of sick. Honestly. Going for the sack. Going for the sack. Let oh, fuck. I thought we had it, man. I thought we had it. <laughs> Something. I'm trying to remember the, how that Rasputin song goes. Something about, like, a sex machine, isn't it? <laughs> so, I'm going to have to look up the fucking words to this song because I don't remember, like... It was a song on Just Dance, was it? You haven't played Just Dance in a while, have you? I definitely haven't. I know that much. I was never much of a Just Dancer, though, you know? My uh, my hips definitely do lie. <laughs> Hope she at least got a check for that shit. Probably not. Let's be honest. They'll convert for the first down if they can get the ball inside the twenty-one. Probably not, sadly. But I'm not going to claim to know because I have absolutely no idea. I didn't even know they made a movie based off of it. They do a lot of quote-unquote true story movies. Yeah. Yep. Well, and the thing with, like, that one obviously happened to IRL to some degree. Like you said, they, they, uh, oh, shit, he's got that touchdown. Son of a bitch. Anyways, that one obviously is, like, a, a true story. We know that, um, because it was a big national thing. But, uh, the, like, the thing with true story movies and things like that is they can put that on anything and like call it a true story all like as long as one part is free is is true um as long as like one of the people in the movie existed irl they can slap that true story sticker on it and call it a day they can't speak uh <laughs> i don't know what that comments in relation to i'm sorry didn't they say paranormal activity was true i believe so I believe that's one of the ones that they said that about. And then, uh, wasn't it Blair Witch Project that they claimed was, like, a, a true story found footage sort of deal? Or did they not try to say it was true and they just, uh, said it was based on found footage? Regardless, point is, like... I did fucking fumble again? Are you serious, dude? Did I accidentally pick the worst team in the fucking world? I'm confused here. How have I fumbled three times in this game? They haven't fumbled once. <laughs> Fuck. I'm so mad. You're li oh, your hips, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. With the delay, man, and the fact that, like, my mind only thinks about whatever is currently happening, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's bad sometimes. Uh, my bad, but yeah, no, my hips definitely do lie. True stories freak me out. 
they would freak me out more if they were true, like actually true. It, but like I was saying, the problem is you never know which ones are actually true and which ones are just complete bullshit, you know? Fucking fambles, man. Facken. Facken fambles. <laughs> you watched Blair Witch with your grandma? You've never seen it, Noodle? I saw it once when I was younger, like quite a bit younger. But I don't remember like a whole lot about it. I kind of remember like the, uh, the ending of it. Um... If I remember correctly, like, it just has, like, one of them, like, in a corner or something like that, in a basement or something. I don't remember. But anyways, sorry, spoilers for an old movie that I didn't personally think was that great. It was okay, but not my favorite. Anyways, point is, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. And, uh, I'm... I'm pretty damn sure it's not actually based on a true story whether they try to say it is or not they got another fucking touchdown okay well guys i think we probably lost this match <laughs> we we pulled that one out right at the end but uh i don't think i don't think that's gonna happen this time it's a uh, eight to 34 and they're probably gonna make this field goal so Supposedly, there's multiple endings. I keep seeing this post pop up online that I think is funny. It's like if I ever became a famous author, um, I would write a book with nine different endings. And whenever people eventually catch on, I would uh, tell them, I would come clean and tell them that I, I wrote a book with 10 different endings. And then just watch the chaos as everybody scrambles to find the last ending of the book. <laughs> like... Dude, fucking chaos personified, and I love it. Oh, Cicada 3301, is that the one you were uh, talking about? Cicada 3301, I haven't seen that, but I, I do want to watch it. The, uh, the, the actual story behind it is really interesting. How the fuck did we catch that? All of the throws that I've thrown that looked good to me, and we've completely missed, and then that's the one that we fucking catch? Like, that was a throwaway, so I didn't get sacked. Holy fuck, dude. So we're what, going up the middle here? Push. Push. Pretend you're having a baby and push. Anyways. <laughs> the whole Cicada 3301 thing, uh, IRL, I think is pretty neat. The story behind it. <clears throat> the story and all the mystery and all of that. Like, That's not the one, but one you want to watch. One second, you'll find the name. Oh shit, sacked. Mm, they are getting a shit ton of sacks too, man. I'm, I'm assuming at this point that it's a mix of I suck and uh, whatever team I'm playing as fucking sucks, man. There's a few of them. Yes, there is. That was a bad throw. That's fair. Honestly, that's fair. Gross. <laughs> Unfriendly. Is that the name of it? Unfriendly. Do we punt or do we just say fuck it? At this point, like, we are so far behind. There's no way we're catching up. So let's just fucking go for it, big. Boy. Single back big. Unfriended dark web. I feel like that sounds familiar to me. Oh, which reminds me, dude. I haven't looked at your elf, Rue. I totally need to pull up your elf. Hold on. After this play, I'm going to pull up that elf, man. Come on. Fucking catch it. Oh, dude. That was so close. Not like really, but so close. <laughs> Tell me the elf doesn't look better. The elf definitely looks better. The elf looks way better than the default ones in Skyrim. I can't tell from the picture, but did they get rid of the pointy ears too? I feel like they should still have the uh, the pointy ears at least. But, oh shit. Uh, what, what play did we go for? I don't know. <laughs> you hit send by accident? Oh. You good, man. No worries. Ugh, uh, is it bad when you said dark web? Your immediate thought was, wait, what did I learn about that in order to answer a question from my professor? <laughs> um, that one actually gave you a little bit of the creeps? Yeah. The dark web IRL is a scary thing, dude. <laughs> like, honestly. Just when you realize that, like, only, what, 2 3% of the web is really, like, known... And the rest of it is just, like, whatever. 
And then all of the like secret underground stuff on like tour networks and stuff like that too. That's a whole another pool. The deep web. I, it's been so long since I've looked into any of it. I get the two mixed up actually. Which one's deep web and which one's dark web? Eh, this is a good one to call. Because one of them means like the portion of the internet that's locked behind passwords or uh, uncategorized, et cetera, et cetera. And the other one is the stuff that you have to be on a special network to to access, like a like a tour network, for instance. But I always I always get the two mixed up, which one's which. Oh god, tackle him, please. <laughs> you know enough about it that you don't want to go near it. Yeah, fair. I mean, like, and on tour networks, there are like normal websites on there too. But then there's also the totally not normal, like super illegal stuff and things like that like dark web is basically anything that's not on clear net that's illegal and such deep is passwords and such okay so dark is tor net deep is passwords and such i'll probably forget that in like two minutes but thank you <laughs> it's not worth it yeah man Unless you enjoy having, like, nightmares and shit, right? <laughs> like, uh, it's like, I used to use, uh, I used to mess around with Tor every once in a while. Um, a mixture of curiosity and just to, because, like, it was a, a neat technology, too. And to this day, I still think Tor is a very neat technology. But anyways, I, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I stopped messing with it a long time ago, though. You're heading out. You're barely awake here. No problem, Rue. Thank you for hanging out with us while you could and get some rest, man. You deserve it. We will talk to you in a day or two. No worries. Oh, uh, before I forget and before everybody leaves, I'm hoping to have the next episode of my tits up on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram tomorrow. It's not quite done, but I'm hoping to get it done for for tomorrow uh, to release on Wednesday as I as I like. Um, it, it's, it's like 80% of the way done, so it shouldn't take too much longer to do. I basically just need to add like subtitles to it, uh, give it a final watch or two and then, and then do the upload. So fingers crossed the next episode of my tits will be, will be out tomorrow, which should be fun. Are they running down the clock? They must be, which I mean, honestly fair. They have so many more points than, than I do. Like. But at the same time, they have so many more points than I do. What are the chances that I'm going to get like, hey, thank you so much for the five bits, Mr. Noodle. I appreciate it. Uh, what are the chances that I'm going to get like five fucking touchdowns or whatever in the, in the amount of time that we need here? We are younger. Some guy found a fucking gore site that somehow stayed survived on ClearNet. People's computers almost got broke for me to avoid seeing that shit. Yeah, that's fair, man. Honestly. I tits. <laughs> I tits. I like tits. Is that what you were trying to say? Uh, my tits. M Y T I T S. It's a uh, acronym, but uh, it stands for my thoughts in blank seconds, ten seconds, twenty seconds, thirty seconds, whatever. That's uh, that's what it is. So it's just it's short form content of uh, like mimi uh, mini reviews, like not not to be taken seriously kind of reviews it is like my true thoughts on a video game or, or topic or whatever but uh but it's, it's meant to be meme and dumb and not not serious though good catch good catch yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you do the tiktoks man feel free to check it out i can pull up a link real quick uh one of these days that's like the the thing that i need to set up a timer for is like to have my links pop up on on uh stream every once in a great while or something but like that's uh you know someday <laughs> that's the tiktok there's also a uh, youtube channel and and uh instagram channel that tiktok and the instagram are both meant for just general things but it's mainly going to be focused on my tits probably uh, the YouTube though account is specific to to short videos and my tits. No, he just shows his tits for ten seconds. Lol. Yep, I'm uh showing the the uh, the inequality of uh, men and women on the internet 
how I, as a man with uh, nice perky boobies, can show them, and it's perfectly fine. But a woman with, with her perfect boobies um, cannot. And I, I find that incredibly unfair, so I'm protesting it by posting my tits on the internet every week <laughs> for 10 seconds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's... Oh. That... <laughs> That's that's a uh, that's a protest we all need to we all need to make man right there. Did we actually? Why are we suddenly catching this? Uh, like all of these things. I'm there. Show them. Let's go, boy. <laughs> I will. Uh, I'll send you a picture of my tits. Wink, wink. <laughs> you went so deep on that. Just wait another like 10. No, fuck, dude. Interception for real. Is there, there's not like a run fucking button. Holy shit. That's a fucking touchdown too. Oh my Lord. Is there a forfeit option or something? Like, <laughs> fuck. I mean, there's a quit option, but there's like 56 seconds left. We're going to finish it. We're going to fucking finish it. Also, Noodle, why do your bits never go in the cup? I don't know, man. That, that cup just hates you apparently. <laughs> oh. It's okay. I mean, it's basically only your bits in the cup, though. You're the only one that uh, donates bits regularly. So, so you see the like the ones that are that are in there. Them are all you, baby. All you. Power button. That's how you. That's how you forfeit. Just a power button. <laughs> okay, little lonely bit. There's a few bits in there. It's not lonely. The next chapter, of Tokyo Revengers, is out. I need to fucking watch it, dude. Take a look at I just, I need time to do it. We get ready for the kickoff. You know? Maybe, uh, maybe during my vacation, if I remember, I'll try and at least start the series. Because, like, I haven't even watched the first episode yet. I just, zero fucking time. But during my vacation in, like, a month or whatever, I, uh, I don't have any major plans. Noodle and I are gonna, gonna go out and do some things. Because that's around the time of our birthday. But av other than that, though, I don't plan on doing anything too serious. That was a bad throw. And should I? So, like, I usually run around while I'm uh, trying to throw. Should I not do that? Is that making my throw worse? Because that, that felt like a, just a really bad throw, man. And I don't feel like we were under very much pressure. Pop friend. Hi, pop friend. There we go. Okay, see, like, I stopped walking that time and then threw, and that worked pretty, pretty decent. The week before, you're working six days. Wait, in one week, they're working you six days? That's trash, man. Like, I know you don't work full eight-hour days, but that still fucking sucks. Like, they shouldn't do that to you, IMO. I mean, they're, they're perfectly legally allowed, but it's still fucking shitty. I was waiting for that interception. 40 hours over six days so what they're working you like six hours a day and then a couple extra days or a couple extra hours on one or two days or something like that or i guess it could be yeah no i guess it would have to be six six to seven hours a day she asked before she did. i mean it's nice that she asked but that's still fucking like that's a lot man a lot of day what was that you just the ball just like hit you in the face man <laughs> you didn't even try to catch it. You gotta, like, put your hands up at least. Uh, we should just run out the clock at this point. Why is the clock not going down, though? Like, I see our play clock is going down. 25, 24, 23, but the, the game clock is still stuck at 20 up there. I'm sure there's some sort of weird... Oh, that's a sack. That's a, that was a sack. <laughs> I'm sure there's some sort of game rule for that, but I don't I don't know what it is. Alright, we gotta we gotta get it real long. Get down there in the fucking end zone and we're gonna we're just gonna fucking throw it, dude. Let's fucking go. That, what? <laughs> Who were you tossing it to, man? <laughs> He's fucking He threw it to the enemy team. Didn't even throw it to one of our guys. Like what the fuck? Get fucked, guys. Well, we definitely lost that match. 
It's one five and a half hour day, three six and a half hour days, and one seven and one eight. That's fucking trash. <laughs> like the fact that there's not even any consistency to your schedule is what honestly irritates me more than anything else. That's so dumb. A five and a half hour day, three six and a half hour days, one seven and one eight. And you're working one morning that day, so you're going to have to work a morning after working a night. Your boss realizes that you don't get home till like 11 o'clock, right? So then to turn around and show up at like 7 or 8 in the morning? That's, that's actual trash, man. That should be like illegal or something. <laughs> Doing a close and then an open? Yeah, I don't think the same business should be allowed to, to schedule you to, to close one day and open the next. I've had to do that shit whenever I was management, and that's fucking terrible. Like, she does that to people all the time, then I would call that bad management, TBH. Uh, not trying to diss your boss here or anything like that, but yeah, that's that's what I would call that. Bad management. Because all that does is that wears your people down, it burns them out, it makes them more tired and less productive. Like, don't do that to people. Just don't. It's fucking stupid, and it sucks, man. It hurts the business and it hurts the people. Bad. <laughs> Almost as bad as that game that we just had there. Holy shit, no. <laughs> oh. She schedules one of your favorite clothes workers to close and schedule for like 6 or 7.45 the next day. Yeah, see, like by the time they get home, like at best you're getting home at like 10.30. If you live close to, to where you work and, uh, and whatnot and you get off at, you know, 10.15 and you get out on time. At best, you're getting home at like 1030. That's not enough time for a full night's sleep if you plan on, you know, having anything to eat or getting a shower or, or doing anything at all. Like, that's not even enough for a full night's rest. That is garbage. <laughs> like, yeah. You work nothing but six straight? That sucks, man. Is it like six straight and then two or three off? Or is it like six six straight and then one off every week? Because like that sucks. I personally was a big fan of when I did uh, four tens a week for four days but ten hours a day. That I liked, um, honestly. Because even though like that each day I worked, I had less time to do whatever I wanted to do. Um, I ended up having more time overall because I didn't have to spend, you know, a half hour to an hour preparing one extra day every week. I didn't have to spend an extra half hour to an hour unwinding at the end of a, a day, an extra day every week. I didn't have an extra hour lunch break uh, spent at work every day of the week. So that's like two to three hours right there that I gained back from my week. Plus the fact that I had an extra day that I just wasn't at work. So I wasn't like as burnout. I had more time to rest and recover, right? Basically the way I did it was I would come home on the first day. That was my day to just recover, to just relax, to just, you know, take all that stress and shit at work and let it go. And then the second and third day, those were the days that I could like actually get shit done. Whatever I wanted to do, whether it was work on a project or play some, play some games or, or uh, you know, mow the yard or whatever. Now I... I I work, usually I work uh, two on, one off, three on, one off is my, my normal schedule now, which isn't the worst, but I, I do really wish to have my days off together at least, but it is what it is, I suppose. I just, uh, you know, got to keep pushing through until I get my actual vacations. <laughs> Only one off silence. Yeah, that sucks, man. I'm sorry. At least you do have a consistent schedule. That is very nice, but that still sucks. Hopefully the uh, the compensation makes it worth it. She will have to actually go in on time where my manager could come in and late if she scheduled herself for six. Yeah, see, and that's bullshit too. That's another sign of bad management in my opinion. Like if you schedule people to come in at a time, if they're late and you have a problem with that, but then you show up late, then that's 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 an issue, man. And the fact that like if you schedule yourself for six and then come in late, obviously you know how much that fucking sucks, closing one day and opening the next, right? Like, you know that sucks, but you still willingly do it to people? Nah. That's why I think whenever possible, you should have dedicated openers and dedicated closers. That way, you don't have to do that to people. And if, like, that's unfair to you or whatever, then have it be like a rotation, right? One month, you're a dedicated opener. The next month, you'll be a dedicated closer. And then just rotate it around every month. But, yeah. 
they lose the hours and it shows them not clocking in. She's on salary, so she doesn't clock in or lose hours. And, like, I don't care if it shows it or not. Doesn't matter to me, man. Like, <laughs> if, if you're not going to come in on time whenever you, you have to close and open, then don't make someone else close and open. I don't care if it makes your store look bad. That's how she gets away with it, though. Yeah, and I get that from, like, a corporate standpoint. But it doesn't change the fact that, like, you obviously know it sucks. So why are you doing it to other people? Like, and, and not not to diss on your boss. You know, like I was saying, it could be, like, a corporate policy or something. Like, she may have to schedule people that sort of way to, to appease her bosses. But the fact is, at some point up the ladder there, somebody is making bad calls that is negatively affecting the business. And uh, the, it's just, yeah. Sadly, it shouldn't be that way, but it is at a lot of places. Anyways, guys, yeah, we are we are clearly done playing uh, Madden for the day, and uh, hopefully for a while. Um, so I am going to call the stream there. Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out with me. Holy shit, it was a good turnout tonight. Um, and basically, everyone was here. Like, <laughs> Silence, man, I really appreciate you being here. It was nice talking to you and catching up a little bit. We need to play some games or something sometime. Nate, of course. Noodle, of course. Rue, I know you're gone, but thank you. And uh, Chocobo as well. Anybody else that came and just hung out and lurked or whatever, I appreciate you too, boo. Uh, everyone, have a wonderful night. I'll see you in a couple days, hopefully. Right? Yeah, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday night. Bye-bye, y'all. Herbs, knife, reloading tool, gunpowder. Herbs, stars card, lighter, gunpowder, herbs.